welcome you all to formation of aliphatic carbon carbon bonds using acid as catalyst in this model so far we had two lectures the first lecture we saw the principles of the acid catalyzed carbon carbon bond formation followed by the reactions of alkenes aldehydes ketones and two methyl pyridine the second lecture we saw the manic reaction in this lecture we will see the ferrell crafts and prince reactions so all of you know very well about the ferrell crafts reactions the reaction of uh, alkyl halide in the presence of lewis acid with aromatic system gives the substituted compound in this uh, reaction aluminum chloride reacts with uh, tertiary butyl chloride to give you a carbocation intermediate which under acts as electrophile which undergoes reaction with benzene to give this alkyl benzene as a product where you form a carbon carbon bond in place of alkyl halide you can also use acid chloride or acid anhydride as acyl source when you react with lewis acid like aluminum chloride you will be able to generate acylam cation which can act as electrophile which can undergo reaction with aromatic system to give this ketone as the product we will study in detail about this reaction when we study the aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions so in this class we will study about the reactions of alkenes in place of arene you can also use alkene as a nucleophile here an example shown for the reaction of alkyl halide with alkene to give the addition product in this reaction the tertiary butyl chloride reacts with aluminum chloride and you generate a tertiary carbocation so this acts as electrophile now which can undergo reaction with alkene which acts as a nucleophile then you will get a primary carbocation so what you, you do here you generate a tertiary carbocation from this uh, tertiary butyl chloride which reacts with uh, alkene to give this primary carbocation the primary carbocation can now react the cl minus to give this uh, chloro derivative so limitation of this reaction shown here in this reaction look at it we use tertiary butyl chloride and ethylene as the substrate they readily undergo the addition reaction to give this new hexyl chloride in uh, good yield however if we use other alkenes like this butene which can undergo reisomerization in the presence of lewis acid to give a mixture of alkenes they can undergo reaction though you will end up with mixture of compounds therefore this reaction is limited with alkenes like ethylene you cannot use for all alkenes because they can undergo isomerization the presence of lewis acid give different uh, substituted alkenes you if you look at here uh, start with the tertiary butyl chloride um, you generate a primary halide as a product uh, in some reactions whatever you generate the halide which also can undergo reaction with lewis acid you will be able to generate a carbocation which can act as electrophile therefore this also can act as a starting material it can undergo further reaction with alkene you will get mixture of compounds but in this case if you look at the tertiary butyl chloride is more reactive comparing this primary halide therefore we don't have the problem therefore this reaction has some limitations you can use only particular halide like tertiary butyl chloride and alkene like ethylene you cannot apply this reaction for other alkenes other halides where the halides can undergo the product whatever you generate they also can further undergo reaction in the presence of lewis acid to give the addition product 
Similarly, the alkenes also in the presence of Lewis acid undergoes isomerization to give substituted alkenes that also can participate in the reaction you will end up with a mixture of compounds. Here an example is given for the acylation in place of alkyl halide you can also use acetyl chloride. When you react acetyl chloride with aluminum chloride you will be able to form complex which also can exist as acetylene cation and both can act as a electrophile in this reaction. Once we form this one now the alkene here the alkene is a 2 butene. So, which can undergo addition reaction and you will be able to generate a secondary carb cation which can react. You have so this can react you will be able to generate beta chloroketone as the product. Alternatively cation also can convert into this alpha beta unsaturated ketone as shown here and 1 pi hydrogen shift. can uh, give this intermediate the beta comma unsaturated protonated ketone which can undergo isomerization to give this alpha beta unsaturated ketone as a product. And this beta chloroketone also can be when you react with the base you can transform this as the product. So, these are the some of the examples for the reaction of alkenes with acid chloride. Uh, in place of acid chloride you can also use acid anhydride. For example, you can use variety of acid anhydride. When you look at the limitations of the reactions here the acid anhydride, acid chloride they do not have any problem. You will be able to generate uh, this electrophile the aluminum complex or acetylene cation which can act as electrophile they do not undergo further uh, rearrangement. However, the alkenes have limitations you cannot use all the alkenes as we have seen just now and the alkenes can undergo a rearrangement in the presence of Lewis as you will get mixture of uh, other alkenes they will uh, lead to a mixture of products. And if you look at these two when you see this starting material acid chloride and uh, the product alkyl halide but this is more reactive with the Lewis acid comparing to that. Therefore, in this case the selectively the acid chloride undergoes reaction with Lewis acid you form this acylium cation. Once you form this one which can undergo addition reaction with your alkene to give you a cation which can lose a proton as shown here to give this uh, alpha beta unsaturated ketone as the product. Alternatively, it can also undergo reaction with the Cl minus to give the chloro derivative which can be further converted into variety of useful compounds. An application shown here, this acid chloride can be coupled with this ethylene uh, in the presence of aluminum chloride to give this uh, alkyl halide. As we have seen earlier and this can react with aluminum chloride you will generate this acetylene cation which can this acetylene ion can undergo reaction with alkene. addition reaction and you will be able to generate this primary cation this can further react to give this halo compound plus aluminum chloride. 
once you form this one, this can be reduced using sodium borohydride. right. Now, you have to remember here, you have the ester group, another one is keto group. This can be selectively reduced using sodium borohydride. Already we, you know that if you have ketone, and you add sodium borohydride, See, you will be able to generate the salt which can convert into alcohol when we do work up, then you will be able to generate this borane and sodium hydroxide byproduct, you will be able to generate alcohol as a product. This can be readily uh, carried out using sodium borohydride in solvent like methanol. Once you form this alcohol, they have treated with uh, thionyl chloride to give the dihalo compound and when you have the alcohol when you react with thionyl chloride So, addition reaction can provide this intermediate which can convert into Uh, this intermediate, this can now uh, under, will undergo SN2 reaction with uh, Cl minus that you have and you will be able to generate the chloro compound as a product and sulfur dioxide plus HCl. This will be the byproduct it will go as gas and you will generate HCl as a byproduct and this reaction takes via SN2 pathway. In this way, if you have alcohol and you can react with thionyl chloride, you can convert into the corresponding chloride derivative. Once if you have the dihalo compound, So, this can be further reacted with two molecule of this thiol. When you react with the base, you can form this can undergo SN2 reaction again. You take two equivalent of this, both primary as well as secondary functional group can be uh, replaced. You will get the thioether as the product uh, via SN2 pathway. So, once if you have the thioether that can be converted into when you use sodium in ammonia, you can reduce to thiol. And uh, this thiol when you react with uh, uh, in the presence of oxygen can generate the radical. That radical uh, can combine together, you can get this uh, disulfide as a product. And once you form this one, you can carry out the hydrolysis of the ester group and you can get this 
carboxylic acid as a product. This we use to break down a carbohydrate and uh, to make energy to the other organs. We also use this as uh, antioxidant and this is a very important uh, compound and how you can use this uh, simple acylation reaction with alkene using Lewis acid to form this compound. Once you form, you can readily convert into this useful diuretic acid uh, by standard uh, organic transformations like uh, here we that carbonyl group is reduced to alcohol using sodium borohydride, then which it was converted into the corresponding dihalo compound using thionyl chloride followed by uh, then which uh, undergoes uh, nucleophilic substitution SN2 pathway to give the thioether. Once we have the thioether that can be reduced to thiol which can be further converted into cyclic thioether using oxygen through radical pathway and this disulfide derivative can be further now converted into the corresponding carboxylic acid using hydrolysis to get this thiotic acid uh, as the product. So, now let us look at uh, the Prince reaction. Uh, this is the original Prince reaction where you can see here the reaction of formaldehyde with alkene in the presence of uh, acid is reported. What happens here? The formaldehyde acts as electrophile which undergoes reaction with acid. We form this species, once we form this one which undergoes addition to give a cation which further reacts to give this alcohol, olefinic alcohol as a product or diol or the cyclic acetal as the product. So, it depends upon the nature of the alkene and the acid counter ion that you use. There is a possibility of the formation of this olefinic alcohol or diol or cyclic acetal as the product. And let us see the mechanism the next slide. Here you can see the formaldehyde can undergo reaction with acid to form this electrophilic species which can now undergo addition reaction with alkene to give this uh, cation. And if you look at here, this is a key intermediate in the Prince reaction. And if you look at here, this simple marconic addition takes place you get this uh, cation as the intermediate and once you form this one, this depends upon the reaction conditions. As just I mentioned, the nature of the acid as well as the substrate and it can be converted into this olefinic alcohol or it can react with water molecule, you get that diol or it can further react with uh, other molecule of formaldehyde you can make the oxonium ion intermediate. Once you form this one and which also can be convert cyclized to give this uh, cyclic acetal as the product. There is also possibility uh, cyclization of this one then in that case you will form four membered oxytane as the this is uh, less favorable under these conditions and this can lose a proton to give this olefinic alcohol or it can react further with water or it can react with the formaldehyde to form this oxonium ion that can undergo intramolecular cyclization to give this acetal. These are the possibilities uh, in this reaction. And now, let us look at an example for the cyclic acetal formation and here when you react uh, styrene with formaldehyde using solid acidic resin as a catalyst, uh, you will be able to generate this cyclic acetal as a product in quantitative yield. The mechanism of this transformation is shown here and when you have the acid, uh, the formaldehyde can uh, react, you will be able to form this uh, reactive electrophile which can undergo addition reaction to give this uh, cation as the key intermediate. Once you form this one, now the water molecule when you add this can undergo reaction here. In this case uh, the water molecule reacts you get the diol. Once you form the diol then it reacts further with another molecule of formaldehyde.
this lone pair of oxygen can take this proton, he will be able to form this intermediate once if you form this one then you will lose water molecule So, this can intramolecularly cyclize you can get this product. So, if you look at this reaction, uh, two molecules of formaldehyde is involved and one molecule of water. First, this aldehyde undergoes reaction with the styrene and you will uh, generate uh, a carbocation intermediate, benzylic carbocation you can see here. Once you form this one, which undergoes reaction with water, do you make this diol. The diol undergoes further reaction with formaldehyde to form this oxonium ion. Once you form the oxonium ion, it can undergo intramolecular cyclization to give this cyclic acetal as the product. If you look at this reaction involves two molecules of formaldehyde and one molecule of water to give this cyclic acetal as the product. So, now let us look at uh, an example for the aliphatic alkenes. So, when you take this propene as a substrate, we react with the formaldehyde in the presence of HCl, and you will be able to form cyclic ether as the product. And if you look at the mechanism, and the propene, as we have seen earlier, can undergo addition with this formaldehyde. you will be generate this uh, cation uh, intermediate once you form this one. Now, this can lose a proton to give this uh, homoallylic alcohol as the product. So, this alcohol further undergoes reaction with another molecule of formaldehyde. to give this cation intermediate. And if you look at here the previous one and this one, the previous reaction, uh, first uh, the alkene undergoes reaction with the formaldehyde, you get this benzylic carbocation intermediate. This leads to reaction with water, you get the diol. That diol further reacts with the formaldehyde to give the oxonium ion, then cyclization. But in this case, both end of this alkene undergoes addition reaction with the formaldehyde to give this diol, uh, this cation as intermediate. Once you form this one, this undergoes reaction with uh, Cl minus that is can be generated from HCl to give this uh, addition product. Once you form this one, this can be converted into cyclic ether under acidic conditions. So, when you react with acid, you can protonate that can lose proton to give this cyclic ether as a product. 
So, this is very useful derivative you can also further convert into variety of uh, useful reagents. For example, uh, here you can try to react with uh, aromatic system like benzene using Lewis acid you can get this uh, uh, substitution product. So, which can undergo reaction with the benzene as electrophile to give this uh, 4 phenyl cyclic ether as a product, which can undergo reaction with aromatic system to give this aryl derivative. And once if you have this one, this can be further reacted uh, with uh, hydrogen bromide to give the dibromide derivative that can be reacted with uh, ammonia to give this. 4 phenyl pipidine as a product, which is important in medicinal chemistry. Formation of this dibromo compound can be understood as so protonation of this ether, you will be able to generate this, which can react with this bromide ion to give. So, this can you can protonate So, this can now undergo S two reaction. to give the dibromo derivative. Once you form this one, now you can react with ammonia by SN2 pathway. which can give the primary amine as the product. plus HBr. So, this can intramolecularly further react via SN2 pathway you get this pipidine uh, as the product. So, the, you can also use uh, this compound further you can for example, you can react with uh, magnesium you can form the Grignard reagent which can undergo addition reaction with aldehyde to give this alcohol as the product. You can also convert into mild nucleophile in the presence of copper iodide you can make the Gilman reagent that can be used for the Michael addition reaction. As you can see if you look at all these reactions and you can consider this as a trication synthon because you can do reaction three carbons and you can consider this uh, the four chloro tetrahydropyron as a 135 trigaton synthon and which can be used for variety of uh, organic transformations. Now, let us look at another application and this can be readily converted into uh, this uh, astral uh, derivative. It, this can be readily cyclized to the cyclic ether using Lewis acid. Here, titanium tetrabromide has been used as Lewis acid. When you use the Lewis acid, it can make chelation with uh, this oxygen. Once form this one, this can be converted into the oxonium ion. So, this can now undergo intramolecular cyclization
to this cation which can now react with Br minus to give the uh, product. The stereochemistry of uh, this compound can be understood through chair conformation. So, once you form this oxonium ion which can undergo cyclization, so this can this cation can react with the Br minus. If you see the, uh, the relative stereochemistry, these two are the equatorial equatorial. So, 1, 2 equatorial equatorial is trans and if you look at this one 1, 3 cis. So, is go this if you see the relative stereochemistry between these two is uh, anti and this one is sin. This can be predicted from the uh, chair conformation. So, these are the some of the examples for the Prince reaction. Now, let us look at the involvement of oxo in mechanism, the Prince reaction. If you look at the reaction of propene with the formaldehyde in the presence of acid, the addition re reaction of uh, propene with the formaldehyde in the presence of acid gives this uh, cation intermediate. Once you form this one, this can lose this proton, you will be able to generate the more substituted internal alkene as the product. But what we observe, we observe always the terminal alkene, not the internal alkene more substituted one. So, this can be explained through concentrated uh, reaction pathway. If you consider this um, alkene and uh, this aldehyde through concentrated reaction, it involves a pericyclic reaction. The equivalent to diels order reaction. The diels order reaction, if you remember, you use a diene in the place of the double bond. Here, uh, carbon hydrogen bond is there, and in place of the dienophile, we have the oxygen. But if you consider as a concentrated reaction, So, you will be able to form the homoallylic alcohol as the product in this case. This involves carbonyl in reaction or oxo in reaction and this, uh, this concentrated reaction can give this as the product. This can be explained and if you look at this one in this reaction, there is a partial charges involved. And this can be stabilized by protic acid. This transient state can also be accelerated uh, to produce this uh, homoallylic alcohol as a product through carbonyl in reaction. And if you look at the mechanism of the carbonyl in reaction, Prince reaction, uh, they are uh, similar in nature. And let us see an example uh, for the carbonyl in reaction. And in this case, if you look at here, and this limonin, when you react with the formaldehyde in the presence of uh, BF3, it undergoes 
the carbon in, in reaction to give this as a product. And if you look at here, this is a good example for the chemo selectivity as well as regio selectivity. And you have the two double bonds. One is the uh, this one and another one is the cyclic one. Among these, the less substituted double bond undergoes reaction through oxoindria pathway to give this homoallylic alcohol as a product. If you look at this reaction, this does not involve this normal Prince reaction and if normal Prince reaction, you will be able to generate a carbocation, then there is a possibility of uh, formation of a carbon-carbon bond. Since the in reaction is involved, the reaction takes place via a concerted pathway and the formation of uh, this uh, homoallylic alcohol as the product is observed. Now, let us look at another example. In this reaction, this, uh, this alkene and whether you take uh, a mixture or E or Z alkene, they readily undergo first uh, carbon in reaction. So, you get this homoallylic alcohol as the product. First, the in reaction is involved. Once this is formed, the next one is simple electrophilic addition reaction. So, that leads to uh, this benzylic carbocation intermediate. Once you form this one, this can undergo aromatic electrophilic substitution. So, you can get this uh, lignin skeleton as a product and uh, here if you look at it, uh, the stereochemistry of this both uh, they have this uh, aldehyde, formaldehyde, they have uh, reacted in the opposite space and you get this uh, anti stereochemistry and here the stereochemistry of this can be explained through chair conformation as we have seen earlier. Now, let us look at uh, the tin silicon uh, stabilized carbocation intermediate, uh, which involves uh, this uh, very uh, interesting example as you can see here, two different aldehydes can be reacted to get this cyclic ether as a product and this allyl tin reagent when you react with Lewis uh, the aldehyde, the presence of Lewis acid can give this addition product. Once you form this one, this can be further reacted with another aldehyde in the presence of Lewis acid with a cyclic ether. The mechanism of this transformation is shown here. Chelation of the carbonyl group with the Lewis acid can give this intermediate that can lead to addition reaction to give this cation which can be stabilized by tin as well as uh, silicon. Now, this uh, the counter ion can react with the tin, which is more reactive compared to silicon. You will be able to generate this homoallylic alcohol as a derivative. Once you generate the silyl derivative, this can be further reacted with uh, another aldehyde using uh, this trimethylsilyl triflate as the Lewis acid to form this oxonium intermediate. 
Uh, here uh, what happens aldehyde you form this active species which can uh, react with this alcohol as we have seen earlier then you will be able to form this oxonium ion this can lead to addition reaction and you will be able to generate this uh, carbocation which can be stabilized by silicon through beta effect and then it can react to give this cyclic ether as a product. So, this asymmetric version of this reaction is shown and uh, so we will study uh, in detail when we later focus on the reaction of organometallic reagents. And here is an example if you look at it here and this, you can use two different aldehyde in this uh, Prince reaction and you can try to control the cation formation selectively you will be able to generate uh, the cyclic ether as a product. This is the recent advance in the Prince reaction you can make allyl tin or uh, uh, silicon uh, reagent that can be uh, reacted with uh, aldehyde the presence of Lewis acid to give the cyclic ether as a product. And now, let us uh, look at uh, some of the recent examples. Uh, if you look at the first reaction involves the reaction of this diene with isobutaldehyde to give this cyclic ether in the presence of BF3 as Lewis acid. As we have seen earlier, chelation of this uh, Lewis acid with a carbonyl group of aldehyde can activate this carbonyl group. Once activate then this double bond can undergo addition reaction. to give This secondary carbocation as intermediate. Once you form this one, this can undergo intramolecular cyclization to produce a tertiary carbocation. Once you form this one, the counter ion can react with the silicon to form this uh, target heterocyclic compound. Now, if you look at the another example where uh, the reaction intramolecular cyclization followed by hydroxylation uh, shown in the presence of trifluoroacetic acid and uh, potassium carbonate. When you use this trifluoroacetic acid that can undergo intramolecular cyclization and you will be able to generate uh, a secondary carbocation that can react with the base to give this uh, cyclic ether as a product. So, in the next example the reaction of the cyclic acetal in the presence of Lewis acid is shown which undergoes intramolecular cyclization to give this uh, cyclic ether as a product. And in this reaction chelation of this oxygen with Lewis acid can generate an oxonium ion intermediate. which can lead to intramolecular cyclization to produce a tertiary carbocation.
once you form this one, the counter ion can react with the silicon and it can lead to the cyclic ether as the product. Next reaction, uh, you can see here uh, the reaction condensation of this aldehyde with alcohol, you will be able to generate uh, a oxonium and intermediate, the presence of acid. this can lead to intramolecular cyclization to produce this can react with acetic acid to produce the cyclic ether. As you can see, this reaction uh, provides the effective synthetic route to make uh, diverse cyclic ether as a product. Now, let us conclude. Uh, in this lecture, the beginning we have seen the reaction of uh, alkenes with acid chloride as well as alkyl halide. This Predel Graf reaction depends on the nature of the alkenes as well as the alkyl halide and it provides effective synthetic route to make carbon-carbon uh, bond formation. Then we have seen the Prince reaction. This also has wide applications in organic synthesis. We have seen the original Prince reaction, then we have seen the recent developments in the Prince reaction where we can use for stereoselective synthesis of cyclic ether. We also have discussed the mechanism and stereoselectivity of some of the reactions. With this, we conclude this lecture. Thank you.